back with a, a toy review. So today we're reviewing the deluxe figure from the Justice League 2021 Dark Side. Check it out. So before we open it up, I want to remind you of what we're what we're reviewing on. So five categories we look at is sculpt, articulation, playability, quality, and accessories. So based upon that, we give each category 10 points, and then uh, we'll see how he tallies up. So today we're looking at the, the, the dark side from Justice League. Well, obviously, this is from the 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 the, the Snyder release because Dark Side wasn't in the original cut. So there you go. Um, this one was about forty bucks in Walmart. It does qualify as a as a deluxe figure, uh, but it still has, I believe, it still has, yep, twenty two points of articulation. All right, guys, let's open it up. I've already cut the oh, I forgot, paper cut. I already cut the the plastic prior to me opening it, so I don't need my handy dandy razor blade on this one. Let's open it up. So let's see what we look like, Dark Side. So, holding Dark Side together is just one release. Ah, here we go. That was pretty easy. So as always, just league figures. You get a map and a card that, that that resembles the card on the that resembles the graphic on the back. But more importantly, let's get to this dark side figure. You know what, guys? I got to tell you, this figure is fire. This figure is fire. So, initial reaction, the weight is good, the sculpt is good, the, the figure is good, and it's McFarlane, so of course he doesn't stand so easily, but he looks great. The soft material in the loincloth, soft material covering the shins and the back, the face, he just looks awesome. So let's give him his first ring. So our first category is sculpt. Out of 10 points, this sculpt is, I really like this sculpt. Let me give this sculpt a nine. He looks fantastic, fantastic. And I mean, check him out, check him out. I mean, he looks great. You know, you see the, you, you see the, the, the texture and the chest and the upper body and even in the face, you see like the, the texture in the face. I really, really liked it. So we're gonna give him a, we're gonna give him a 10 for sculpt. Next, articulations. It's McFarlane. They tend to trend high because they have 22 points. Obviously, we have I need it so tight. Knees, we have the knee, we have the, the foot and the ankle. We have a torso, we have two torso, torso here, torso here, a head. Arm, we got the, the double jointed elbow. You see there, double jointed elbow. That's cool. Uh, wrist. I don't know. You guys are keeping track. That looks close to twenty-two. So it's pretty decent. I mean, McFarlane, you can't, you can't, you can't complain when it comes to McFarlane. So for Mc, so let's give them. Uh, let's give him a. I say. An eight articulation because even though uh, you know what I'm gonna drop that down to a seven because even though he's super articulated, I feel like the articulation is not as as usable as some other articulations. Where yes, you can move him, but the way look at the limited look. This is as much as his knee bends. The range of motion is limited. So yes, it's articulated, but it's limited in the actual range of motion and articulation. I'm actually rethinking that seven. That seven is gonna come down to a six in articulation, just because I'm a little upset about the range of motion. That leads us into playability. You're not playing with this guy. I'll tell you that right now. I mean, even standing him up, he wants to. Aim, you know, this is Lawrence always says: "Fallen figures don't stand up on their own," which is key when you want to play with them. But I have a feeling that trying to hold, trying to move him to do poses and stuff like that with a limited articulation is gonna hurt you. I'm gonna give it a seven on playability. Now, quality. This, this, I'm not. This, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna 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 ding him on. The quality on this figure is just really, really good. And I'm moving the, all the joints, even though they're tight, they still move freely. So, 
I mean, even though the range of the range of motion limit, the, the joints don't move, which is which is good because sometimes, especially with the McFarlane figures, you have problems in the shoulders, the knees, and the elbows, and they move. Even though this is limited, it still moves. So I'll give it. I'll give this an eight on quality. And the last one we have is accessories. Let's go back to to this. So we see we have the. Deluxe figure. I mean, I'm not sure what else you're gonna give with Dark Side because he doesn't have much. But all you have is his scepter, which let's see how it fits in. Scepter's kind of flimsy, to be honest with you. All right, there we go. Scepter. That's it. You have scepter, a card. And the base, which for this figure, the base is a must because he is not standing up without that base. So, I don't know. I'm getting more and more frustrated with the accessory level of McFarlane. I don't need a full G.I. Joe, like, tray of you know, 30 or 40 guns, but give me something a little bit cooler than a flimsy scepter, right? I don't know. I'm going to give them a – he's going to get dinged hard for an accessories. All right, so that leaves us five categories. Sculpt, he got a nine. We looks great. Articulation, six. Even though it's fully articulated, some of the, some of the range of motion is a little bit a little bit soft, a little bit hard to move, and limited. Playability, you know what? I think I had it. I'm gonna stick with that six on playability. Quality, eight. It looks looks fantastic. Even though some of the joints are limited, they still move freely. Without without yanking the arm out of the sock or something like that, so I'm good with an eight. Accessories four. So let's see what that puts us in. That's 20, 26, 26 plus eight is thirty four. Wow, thirty four for uh, dark side. I'm not gonna lie. When I first got this, I opened it expecting it to rank a lot higher, but you know what? Holding it, touching it, and really. You know, spending time with it. It looks great. It's going to look great on the shelf. It's going to look great against some of my other figures. But it leaves a little bit to be desired for. And one of the parts that, that I harp on is that this is this is a premium figure. So this carries a price tag of about 40 bucks. Is it worth the 40 bucks? Mm, it makes me question it now. So let's see. But I'm so glad I have it. I'm so glad it's going to the collection. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. If you guys have any questions, you guys have any things you want me to review, let me know. Please like and subscribe. Do all the cool stuff. And uh, we'll be back. I'll be back from the lap of luxury that is the warehouse where I do my toy reviews. I'll be back with the Toy Hunters, myself, with Bashy, and uh, try to find you guys some deals. Try to find you guys some, uh, some just great opportunities, great toys, great deals. And just keep following the channel. We have great stuff. We have Jack doing uh, we have we have Jack doing uh, comic book reviews, Lawrence doing uh, unboxings, we have Rich doing uh, live streams. So we have pretty much anything for any geek. We try we try to uh, offer offer something for everyone here. So again, this is Chris signing out. Thanks for your time, and uh, we hope to see you soon. Peace. What's up, y'all? Welcome to Three Brothers and a Shot of Milk. We're